All right, I think this should maybe work. We're going to find out. God damn it. There's still a single... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Where are you, you piece of shit? Aha! Vertice. Oh, what happened? Oh god, what happened? Oh dear. It's all vertices. Okay. Maybe now. <laughs> Select this goddamn line and mark the seam. You know, just to be safe. Object mode, control A, scale. Oh, thank you. All of that, all of that, was for a single vertice, everyone. A single king extrusion that was a mistake. But now, we have a fairly hideous but working UV map. I know you're supposed to kind of get these as packed together as you can and you don't want to rotate or anything without making sure you're rotating properly and all that good stuff. <laughs> I know TK4, I know, but if I don't learn it now then I'll never actually take the time to learn it. I, w I would much rather suffer now so that later it is that much easier. And and I'll be able to understand and help other developers. And since that's kind of my job, like literally the job I do every day, <laughs> helping other users definitely means I need to take the time to learn something like this. <laughs> okay. Now, now that we did all of that, uh, I'm going to check to make sure this is in metric. Let's see what we're sitting at. Where's dimensions? 17 meters. 17 meters I don't think is bad. I don't think. Um, actually, edit scale point, point 0.5. scale 0.5 object control a scale so now 8 meters 8 meters is much better it's still pretty tall I think smart <laughs> press P and modify the padding okay UV unwrap P I hit P right proportional editing mode It 
is it 26 feet tall? I don't, I don't know my unit conversions right now. It's, where's, okay, hold on, object. Yeah, that's 28 feet. All right, scale. Point five again. No. Point one. No. Eighty seven centimeters. How big is that? Okay, I think it can go a little bit higher than that. Scale two. Five seven. Perfect. That's what we're going with. I'm not arguing. <laughs> Where are my UVs? <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Edit. UVs. Okay. Whoa. What uh, the hell? I swear to God that I... Okay, no. So, I've been doing this thing... No. Okay. I've been doing this thing recently. It's happened probably three or four times now. Where... When I... Go to do anything with UVs, I accidentally mark every single line on the uh, on the mesh as a seam so it completely fucks up everything yeah that's that's good um, I do want a little bit of padding though ah oh, what the hell's what the hell's that <sighs> what is it doing Okay, 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 it's cool. What the hell is this? What am I doing? Damn it, Blender and all of your hotkeys. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know how to disable it. Disable. You know, just, just disable it. Go away. <laughs> let, me, let me just... Let me just do my thing. For a little padding between all of these objects like it's supposed to be so that lighting cuz you know for the second UVs uh, uh, I will freaking do the Tina moan uh, okay good enough you know what we're we're calling it we're we're calling it, and we're going to go ahead and save this as my test dummy. Test. Or, let's go with target practice. Yeah. Export as target dummy. Eh, I, I'm, I'm going with it for now. I, I just want to go ahead and get this into the editor. It, it'll be okay, I think. Probably not. Probably going to be horrible, but you know what? that's alright too. Because that is a lesson learned. Import... Okay, and 
importing with Y up has been kind of weird. File, export, negative Y forward Z up. That's what I was supposed to do. Oh well, fuck it. I don't care. Open Blueprint Editor, Event Graph, Viewport. We're getting rid of Cube here. Face of target dummy. I'm also going to go ahead and do a scene component, put that in the forefront, get target. Boom, rotate. Let's just attach that there. Boom. There. Now we have a target dummy. Check it out. And the UVs are only slightly fucked up right there. I need to fix that. Okay. There. File, export, FBX, target dummy, export. Boom. Come into here, re-import. And all of my UVs are correct now. So not bad at all, gentlemen and ladies. If there are any ladies in the in the audience or watching this on viewer videos and stuff like that, you are most certainly welcome and included. Okay. And so we got our spear. Now we got our target dummy that if we hit, it's like, oh, you failed, ah, oh. oh no. So it fails every once in a while, and then it succeeds every once in a while. Cool, I actually feel very accomplished right now, not gonna lie. I know it's it's really not that much that I just did, but this is actually the first time I have gotten multiple static meshes that were relevant to whatever I was doing into a level and then actually had them used within a blueprint. Every other time it's been like I had a static mesh that I imported and did absolutely nothing with. So I know, I know, it's really not a big deal, but I'm going to toot my own horn for a minute because that is actually pretty cool to me that I just did that. With the absolute help of James and TK421. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it for the night, though. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of got more than I actually anticipated done tonight, so that was pretty cool. And we will, we have these weapons now, or this weapon now, and this training dummy, and I plan on making those uh, more interesting in the future, and like making this a better spear and a, eh, the training dummy I don't really care about, but a better spear, and eventually I'm going to learn how to sculpt.